I'm hell-bent on challenging myself to do a realistic painting. That's not my style as you know it, mine is more of a sip slap casual. Let's go! If you have seen some of my videos in the past, you know that uh, I really do not like detail. It's also my characteristic, I mean my personality. I just don't like the details part of it. Um, I was trained as an engineer, so clearly I have some details in me. And I'm going to show you that I still have it. So let's see. Uh, when I started drawing and um, looking at this uh, sketch, I'm observing all the tiny bits of details. Again, I'm not trying to do everything, I'm trying to represent and uh, give a sense of detail. Giving a sense of detail is a lot more fun because uh, if you can make your audience mind uh, somehow see the detail when even, even though you didn't put it there, but you kind of imply uh, or you mimic in some ways, then I think you would have been successful as a sketcher because it is still following my philosophy of having the macro picture which is right but when you go down to the detail you realize you're being fooled it, <laughs> it's not right it's wrong and uh, macro right micro wrong so to speak and it is a lot more fun it, once people realize it's a sketch and not a photograph and uh, I start my sketch here by basically capturing uh, some of the metal metallic feel uh, indicating to myself when I paint later where are the dark shadows Someone was telling me that they were having a stressful moment because they are feeling the stress of trying to keep up with Inktober. Well, let me put it this way. If art is giving you stress, then you should stop doing it because the whole point of doing art, in my mind at least, is that it elevates stress, it gives you a sort of a relief from your day-to-day -day work life uh, chores um, and it is sort of an escape. But if it becomes stressful, then stop you know i mean what's the point of doing it right so anyway i digress so back to the sketch i'm putting in as much details in quote as i can uh, the first thing i'm going to do with the wash is to do the background negatively that is and if you have been following my channel for a while as well you know i like to look at things negatively i clearly see the watch uh, somehow negatively popping up uh, if you look at the white space once I have done the negative shape around the watch, you realize that I'm seeing uh, the shape of the watch in a negative way. The combination of um, uh, purple, blue, red, um, you know, the darkest version that is in your palette is what I've thrown in. I don't really care the kind of colors that you use, but as long as it's dark, as long as there is two or three, and uh, it allows you to dab in my trusty cadmium yellow and cadmium orange uh, I do tell beginners to avoid using cadmium but this is one of the best way of using opaque uh, yellow and opaque orange dropping it in dark dark shapes like what I've just done uh, and then of course I use a much more cool warmer uh, with a lot of um, uh, orange in it uh, for a differentiation between the two darks for the background for the peripheral, I am just using uh, a neutral sort of color, uh, basically using the purplished uh, dark I've mixed and I neutralize it with a bit of a uh, yellow orangey sort of uh, color, especially using quinacridon uh, gold. Uh, with that, I'm looking at the values and I'm mimicking the band around uh, the watch face, the one that goes around in circle. It's not a single value that goes around it. There are various darks and light and I'm just reading it and I'm putting it down as I see it. This is how you will do realistic painting or sketch. You need to observe the values, 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 values of what you see. For those of you who have not seen uh, my video on sketching metal, I will put a link up here. Uh, you, you'll be able to find it and uh, uh, there are some tricks to metal sketching. Well, number one, it's about the contrast in value. Number two, it's about the shape, uh, you know, thin shapes. Uh, and, uh, and number three, your ability to mix beautiful gray, which is what I'm doing right here. 
and that's how I represent the steel band uh, of the watch. Oftentimes the recipe stays the same uh, from sketch to sketch and you just need to keep uh, the recipe in mind whenever you are doing something you know like in this case I'm thinking metal so when I'm using met metal recipe I apply it on spoon I apply it on uh, the steel band in the watch uh, right here so nothing magical or special but once you have learned the skills and you have repeated in many instances uh, the recipe holds and it gives you a simple approach to a sketch uh, remember this is not a fine art painting because you know you do need to go in with a lot more details if you want to but for a sketch that takes about 40 minutes to do uh, I speed it up here but I mean it took me about 40 minutes from uh, from the drawing to finishing uh, so in some ways it is a relatively uh, simple uh, recipe to execute so with that we are ready to um, put in more details of the watch faced um, and uh, I, I probably will not follow all the color scheme of the watch face but uh, I may make it a bit more warmer a bit more brownish if you like um, because you know if it's all sort of uh, black and dark just basically uh, black it's not gonna be very very interesting so I'm gonna sort of use my artistic license to kind of tweak the sketch a little bit uh, so first in put in the darker parts uh, and then you know following what I see there are uh, uneven values across the watch face uh, the lower part of the band if you like the ring around it is a bit darker so I'm just gonna go in with that uh, touch up on some of the darks of the uh, the band the, the the wrist as well the stainless steel wrist I suppose I continue to wash uh, or put in washed on the watch face going around the uh, the two arms uh, the hour and the minute um, you know bar if you like and then just using uh, broad washed uh, and uh, oh and I'm also sort of darken the the end of the ring because as you can see the the most uh, lighter part is really uh, closer to the watch face in terms of the steel band uh, I also put in a bit of shadow underneath the watch um, and just to make sure that it doesn't float in mid-air <laughs> if you like uh, the ability to put in correct shadow values is very very important uh, I'm using a very small brush now tiny one and I'm just going in to draw some of the uh, darkest dark if you like uh, with a combination of uh, dark purple with um, black neutral tin I, I believe uh, and uh, going in to put in some shadow color as well shadows uh, where I see it and then you know darken some of the uh, watch face appropriately um, now I'm going in with a stronger yellow uh, to put in uh, where uh, in fact this is cadmium because I need opaque so I'm putting in the cadmium to put in uh, the right you know the the digits on the watch face uh, and also some of uh, the parts on the uh, the arms uh, hour and the minutes arms of course all this is uh, they are done with a lot of care um, and it's actually not my character to be so careful with my sketch I am uh, typically a slip slap slap on sort of you know very expressive and uh, very callous sort of a sketcher because I prefer sketches that are a bit more loose and a bit more uh, you know uh, carefree if you like because that's also sort of my nature uh, although I'm trained as an engineer it's uh, it's not something that I enjoy doing as much uh, you know when I was young I used to do lots of mats and I was pretty good at it and I you know I enjoy all the detail work and stuff but I guess, as I grow older I realized that well you know it's a lot more interesting if I were to be a bit more feel you know going with my feeling and going with my uh, sort of a broad stroke of uh, you know yeah anyway I enjoy that more but it's kind of nice every now and then to come back to my roots um, and uh, put in a bit of detail and so on now uh, just a note on the white um, as you can see the it's not white it's actually gray as you can see I grayed out the white so that it is not so jarring and this is one of the things that you gotta remember when you put in highlights they need to be appropriately highlighted so there are some highlights that are totally white because of the context where the highlight is supposed to be but when it is in shadow remember the highlights are actually gray and you do need to gray it out otherwise they become jarring white and it will not be 
uh, realistic at all. So we're kind of almost done at this point with a lot of the little details that we put in. Um, and uh, as you can see, I did not do every single thing, right? Uh, I skip a lot of the, uh, you know, detail, some of the details I kind of just omit. Uh, and now, now I'm going in to do all the little tiny little lines uh, around the watch uh, faced. Uh, I'm not counting, as you can tell. Uh, I'm not really, you know, counting one, two, three, four, five, that ten. No, um, it's just a few. Anyway, even if you're doing a realistic stuff, unless you're doing hyper realism, there's no point in wasting time in doing all the tiny little details, right? Uh, if uh, you have ten and you do nine, your eyes are gonna see pretty much the same. So uh, it doesn't really matter. So as long as the feeling of the lines are correct, hey, it's good enough. Uh, and anyway, it's a sketch. I don't really want to spend too much time and this already is the most challenging in Toba I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not going to make it even harder for myself by forcing myself to be accurate uh, down to the tiny micro details and so on, right? Uh, and yeah, anyway, so so there you go. All the lines are in and I think there is a bit of a realism sort of, um, yeah. Um, and I'm just going to put in a bit more of a shadow dark, as you can see, around the band. And I think that will be the last bit that I'm going to put down. And yeah, so that's more or less it. I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial on sketching a watch face uh, with all the traps and difficulties that comes along with it. Uh, and I uh, hope you learned something from this. This is certainly the hardest Inktober I've done to date. And I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, tutorial that I've just presented to you. Let me know what you think because you know uh, if I were to just show you very quickly uh, how I you know sketch it from beginning to the end in a bit of a summary we'll go through that after I've written my name here. That's we take uh, and uh, yeah so let's review. So the first thing is I uh, did a simple drawing uh, of uh, the watch face uh, the next one, put in all the background so you can see the negative shape of the watch floating in mid-air. Uh, I kind of glue the watch to the table uh, by, you know, having a shape that has a miss, you know, in other words, the edges is glued uh, at the bottom to the shadow. And then I put in all the watch face, the details, the white, the highlights, uh, and that's the step-by-step -step process that anybody can do with a bit of patience and uh, it's not necessarily that you have to be super accurate. I hope you enjoyed that. We take out.